how do their chums? I doff my cap to thee. I'm playing Dragon's Dogma once again. Yes, I am, and I'm trying to do a load of quests. So one of the quests that I'm hoping to do is an uninvited guest. So this is a little thief that runs about the town. You've got to run after him and catch the clown. Yes, you've got to put the guy down. Heck yes. That almost freaking rhymed. I'm a freaking rapper. Yep, yep, yep. Can't do that. Anyway, let's go on in. I don't think that's a thing anymore. They're into all that dabbing stuff or whatever it is. Can't do that either. Yeah, I'm just not cool, I guess. Too cool for school. Yeah, I fell out of school ages ago. Anyhow, let's go into Casades. Because we're into Casades, yes. And we've got to go speak to the victims first. So the shopkeepers. This little hut here and the one opposite. We go into there, into these lovely fine establishments. Hello, sorry for calling your home a hut. But no, it's quite a lovely establishment you've got. I like your assortment of buckets and these sort of milk bottles things you've got going on in the crate. It's very swimmingly lovely. Yes, I'm loving the fashion as well of you lovely ladies. Brilliant! Awesome! Yes, don't you worry. I will get this fiend. This fiend will trouble you no longer. Captain Steve is here to the call. To the beck and call of these lovely people of this lovely town. Let's head on into this other lovely fine establishment and we're going to use the wrong doors. Yes, we could have gone into the doors straight off of beam. No, but I'd like to make a task hard. So let's go through the wrong doors and then we'll hop into the other part of the building. But here we go. So we've got to go into that. Lovely. So yeah, I'm going in for these ones. I should have gone through the ones to the right. But you know, we'll go through here anyway. We can just barge in through the side door. And we'll go through those chappy that's over here. Hello there, mate. Yes, I came round the wrong end of the counter. I know. Hello there. Yes, I'm loving your little tags. They're very nice, aren't they? Like little nipple tassels. Nipple tassels. And I love your haircut. It's freaking great. What bowl did you use? I can't see any. Anyhow, lovely. Yes, don't you worry. I will get this thieving thief for you. And he will trouble you no longer. Awesome. Brilliant. Yes, thank you very much. Right, now I need to go to the actual hotelier. Yes? Oh, fudging. Yeah, that's kind of you, isn't it? Just slam the door on my freaking face. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, which way do I need to go? It's behind me. Yes, it is. Got to spin myself around and go that way. Go see the hotel here. This way. Yes, I lost my bearings in the middle of the street. If you know my channel and you know my content, I lose myself in the smallest of mazes. I'm terrible with mazes. Terrible with town layouts. I get lost all the time. Hello there, little chap. I say little chap. He's he looks tiny in comparison, doesn't he? Well, hello there, Pablos. Yes? Okay, this sounds like a fine plan you've got. Yes, I'm loving your little quill with the... Um, with the yeah, very nice. Very cool, a little guest signing in book. It looks like you've had quite a fair few. Yes, looks like you've been quite busy. Nice. Okay, well, we're going to speak to you again because we're ready. We're ready. We're ready to take on this scourge of the town. This fifi man fifi. We will get him. So the basic premise is, chums, on console, you use R2 to grab things, okay? You would know what your grab button is on whatever console or platform or PC you're on. Yes, because, yes, yeah, so hopefully it would tell you what grab is. It's the one you pick up the barrels with or pick up people and throw them off cliffs with. Yes, we've all done it. It's all bloody good fun, isn't it? Anyhow, let's head on out. We've got to use that button when we're close proximity to the thief and it's a little bit sketchy the hitbox is teeny tiny sometimes you grab him like there and he'll just call you a bastard yes he uses that word the bar steward word gets thrown around quite a lot in this mission people so if you're quite sensitive or if you don't like reading because he even comes up on the screen with a freaking speech bubble and tells you you're a dogged bar steward Right, so let's go after him. Yes, bar stewards are also... It's a great profession if you're into bar stewarding. Right, here we go. Let's go this way. Yes, a dogged bar steward, though. I guess you'll pass your sale by date. Right, come here, you. I will get you, fifi man, fifi. Fief. Look at him go. He's freaking like lightning. He's freaking on it. Yeah, he's drunk a can of Red Bull or Monster or something, hasn't he? Right, if you lose sight of him, chums, he's going to leg it out of the town. You're going to lose the mission. Here's the prime part to actually get him. He double backs on himself through this bush. So you can grab him there. I miss my opportunity. That's where I normally get him. If you miss your opportunity there, that is another. As he goes up to the graveyard, he spins around in a circle. You can try and grab him there as well. So you go up this and you go to the left. Don't go to the right. Follow this staircase up here. You can see him. He's just on the tail end of him. This is your next chance. As you go up these stairs here, get ready to grab him again, people. Because he does like a little... He double backs on himself. Just for a second. But I missed him again. And he double back again. I missed him again. He carries on through here. 
There's only one more opportunity for me to get him, and then he's probably going to disappear out of the frickin' town. So, I, yeah, oh, I nearly got him then. That's not the opportunity that I was on about, though. You know where the store was, and I went in the wrong door? Well, he takes a left in a minute in that alleyway, and when he does, he stands still for about, I don't know, ten seconds or so. Grab him there. Why is by that door? I missed him. I panic, and then I got him. He ran round me, thank fudge, and I grabbed him. That was just pure luck. The next thing he does is he runs out the freaking gate and he gets past all your pawns and you, you lose a mission you have to start again. I, I got him at the last opportunity. Yes! Boom, boom, pow, pow! Got him! It's kind of good that I got him at the last opportunity so then I can point out all your actual points where you can get him if you're quicker or more agile than me. So there we go. That's how you do that mission. Now, I figured since we've got a bit of time, I'm going to go through and do all the X escorting missions yes yes escorting it's yeah it's not a profession you really want to get into is it to be in a male escort or something but anyway let's just do it right so here we go let's pick this up so basically i've got to help people get from a to b we're not going on any on any blind dates on this or anything like that that's a completely different type of escort right oh so the first one that we're going to do is we're going to be taking this chap well this lady i believe to cape Pafage or something like that. It's right near Grand Soren, basically. There's like a there's a little pasture just outside of Grand Soren. You just gotta take her there. It's really simple. So here we go. I'm just gonna use my my magical stone to teleport me. My rift stone or whatever it's called. No, it's not a rift stone. It's one of those. It's a fairy stone. There we go. And I'm just going to go to Grand Soren. It's where that little red dot is just outside the castle gate. You can't freaking miss it. But anyway, we're just going to use my fairy stone. I've got an eternal one, so I can use it as many times as I like. Fantastic. And teleport a Mondo to Grand Soren. Chicka boom We're gone. Chicka boom Yes. Sound effects are available in game. I didn't need to make that sound. Right, so here we are. Grand Sis. Yes, just outside of Grand Soren. And then you just take a left. Now it's 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 just there's some boxes and crates and some hay there. Uh, I thought why the fudge does she need to go here? It just doesn't make any sort of sense. But you know I'm not gonna question it, I'm just gonna do it. Right, so here we go. It's just over here, it's just over to the left hand side. So just take a left at the bottom of the stairs after you come off the bridge. And yeah, you've got a load of little cow type things there. Where the buffaloes roam and the buffaloes groan. I don't even know whether that's a song, but that's it. Home on the range, is that the one? I think it is. Right oh, right, so we're gonna take a little left over here. And it's not that one, it's it's over to the left a little bit more, behind that tree, and it's pretty much gonna enter into a cutscene when you get to the right place. So it's somewhere around here, and there it is, up there, I believe. Yep, so all where where these crates are. So lovely, there you go. She wants to go here. Don't know why, but that's pretty much that. We're done. Heck yes we are. So she's very thankful, lovely jubbly, give me my XP. Yeah, nice little screenshot there, isn't it? Very cinematic with the waves crashing in. It's just beautiful, really beautiful. Heck yes, that's the nice thing about taking these people to these places. You get awarded with a lovely vista. Yeah, it's brilliant. And that'd make a nice desktop pick, wouldn't it? Fantastic Mondo. Right, so we've got a couple of these escorting quests to do. And luckily, I've placed all of my teleporty type crystal-y things at pretty decent places. Now, I've gone back to Cassidus to pick up the next one. And I found this guy in the well. He actually calls out to you. Hey! Hey! Hello! And you go down there and you meet with this Rorik. And he mentions that there's a scourge inside of the well that he's been holding back. Yeah, stopping it from getting into the town. Very courageous little guy. So we're going to head on in, and it's just a mass of Saurons. So if you don't know what a Sauron is, it's one of the lizard people. And you've got to sever their tails. So go for behind them and just cut their tails off before you actually enter and smash in their heads. But yeah, we're going to head on through this cave complex and get to where the actual Saurons are. Okay, we have arrived at Cave Dude. We're going through all these sort of like little tunnels, and it's over towards the left-hand side of where you met all the other Saurons before. It's this little sort of like cave annex over to the left like i say you go through there and if you look at your map it puts a big freaking red circle roughly where you've got to go hopefully you've already unlocked this area but yeah there's a shed load of soren eggs as well that you've got to smash that are on all the rocks i send my team forwards by pressing up on my d-pad and saying go you go get them i'm gonna hold back i'm just gonna hold my shield up in front of my face and i'm gonna hide Yes, because these guys are freaking tough. They only need to hit you a couple of times on super hard mode, and you're going to die. There's no super hard mode, there's just hard mode. But I say super hard mode because it's super freaking hard for Captain Steve, because I'm not all that great at gaming, even though I do stream the stuff and call myself a gaming content creator. 
Yes, it's very loose that, to be fair, very loose. I enjoy games, but I'm not good at them. <laughs> if I can do it, the good thing is, you should be able to. That's the kind of rule when it comes to watching my content. If Captain Steve can do it, I should be able to do it. Because, you know, yes. It, I would say I'm, like, below average when it comes to gaming. And that's selling myself. Okay, right, here we go. You're dead. Take that, reptilian. Yeah, David Icke will be proud. I'm massacring these guys. Yeah, you take that. Yeah, these ones, they can't morph into humans. They will run the world. Right, take that. Die, Soren. You're dead. Heck, yes, you are. Awesome. Now we just need to smash... All of these eggs. Oh no, there's still one Sauron still alive. Let me handle this genocide. I've got this under control, lad. Yeah. Oh no, I haven't. He went to stab me. I blocked it. Ha! Take that, Sauron. Scourge. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, go I'm going around the back. Oh, you've already had the tail off. I was going to show off to my live stream there, Gorm the Orc, but no, you killed him. Thank you, Gorm the Orc. He is pretty awesome, Gorm the Orc. The only thing is, he's level 47. So at some stage, because I'm now level 50, I'll probably part ways with Gorm the Orc. There's also a trophy to be had. If you enlist a pawn out in the world, so if you see one roaming around that looks quite nice, enlist them. But I think you have to spend a couple of um, rift stones when you enlist them. So yeah, you part with a, a handful or whatever. And hopefully it would pop a natural trophy. So yeah, I do like to try and get as many trophies unlocked as I can in games that I thoroughly enjoy. I am hoping to get all trophies unlocked on this one, but the trouble is to get all the trophies, you need to do every single quest. And there's some quests that I really don't know how to do. So here we go, let's uh, smash all these hex. Yes, and then we get a lovely cutscene. I sped the cutscene up so I don't get a copyright flag from copy um, Capcoms. Yes, Capcoms don't like you for that. Awesome, brilliant. They're done, and, and let's kill these big bosses. Look at the size of him. He's freaking huge. He's like a saltwater crocodile. That must be the sort of lizard person that the Queen turns into, according to David of the Ikes. Take that, yeah? If you don't know who David Ike is, I wouldn't bother Google it. Unless you really want to go down that tinfoil hat wearing sort of path. But yes, I like David Ike. Yeah, and I entertain him anyway. Right, here we go. Let's, um, let's, let's, let's get these. Die! Okay, right. He's dead. Lovely. We've cooked up a giant lizard. Brilliant. Pick up all the bits. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. We've got lots of crafting materials. And all the eggs are smashed, so we're not going to get any more Sorens. Spawning under Carsidus, my hometown. Yeah, there we go. Twirly, whirly, smash him and smash, smash. Now I can go report back to Rorik of our triumph of killing all of these Sorens underneath our town and getting rid of all the Sauron babies in egg format. Right, okay, so there's lots of little dead ends down here. Don't go too into the water, because as you can see there, I started getting sort of eaten alive by piranha reef fish or something. Yes, yeah, if you go into deep water, you die, basically. Yep, so lots of dead ends. There's a couple of chests, but nothing to aught down there. Right, here we go. There you go, Rorik. I have completed your quest. And I've got myself a load of hex pee. Excellent, eh? Brilliant, eh? And now we're going to head on over and see if we can get another escort mission. And we can. Yeah, so we've got a couple to go there. I've picked up a few other missions because they're on the board anyway. But we've got to take Queena to Prayer Falls. I don't recall where, where Prayer Falls is. So I'm going to do the simple ones first, Guardsman Sort. So yes, I've just got to take Aldo over to the Shadow Fort. Luckily, I have myself a teleporting crystal already there, Mr. Aldo. So yes, we're going to take you straight over to the Shadow Fort. Also, Mercedes needs to go to the Shadow Fort as well. So I just need to pick her up from Grand Soren. I'm going to do both of them super duper quickly. So I just need to exit out of here, use my fairy stone. I actually don't even have to exit out of the town, but we're going to anyhow. And then we're just going to teleport on over to the Shadow Fort. There you go, Aldo. You have arrived located in style. Yeah, Aldreo or whatever your name is. Boom. And then I'm also going to do Mercedes as well in the same sort of fashion. So there you go, Mercedes. You're now delivered to the Shadow Fort as well. And then I'm going to go back to Carcidus. And we're going to pick on up or Arena or whatever her name is. And hopefully, a Quina, 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 and take her to these fools. I think they might be over by the old Abbey. But we shall see, chums. We shall see. Okay, so here is lovely Queen's mission. Brilliant. Prayer Falls. Yes, I think it is over by the Abbey. Prayer, as in pray, by the Abbey. That makes sense. There's a load of nuns there. 
Brilliant, awesome. So, yes, hello, Queena. Yes, you want to go over to Prayer Force? Not a problem. I will help you as best I can. Yes, since you're going there to try and help me by the looks of things as well. So, anyway, it's, I think the closest crystal that I've got to warp to is at Grand Soren. So, I'm going to make my travels from Grand Soren following this pathway and probably cut through the trees to get there, I think, people. And I think that's where the Abbey is. So, here we go. Let's go for that. Now, on my way, on the cut through, I bumped into a nice point that I come across, a ranger. So yes, I'm going to be swapping out Gorm the Orc. And look, I popped that trophy that I was on about earlier. Heck yes, I did, local recruit. Right, so let's head on up into the Abbey just to get it on the actual map and to see if they offer me any missions. Why I'm here, there's a couple of crows around there that I could try and kill. I've got to kill a lot of crows inside of the Grancis. And yes, to pop another one of the trophies on the mission board, but there we are. And it doesn't look like there's anybody offering me any sort of missions inside of the Abbey right now. Hello there, yes, Clarus. Yes, no, she doesn't want to give me a mission. Fine. Right, well, I'll go check all the surrounding buildings. I'll probably touch the actual pawn guild thing just to create a save file, just in case I die. Because this is quite a bit of a trek, to be fair, from um, Grand Soren. I need more of those port crystal things so I can portal around the place because I would like to come back and explore all this. Or come back at night because there's a lot of missions that I've got for killing undead and phantoms. And this seems to be a good area to do that. So, yeah, I will be back there at some stage but here we go let's pop this chest and let's see what we get and the next port crystal i get if i do find another i'm hoping to um, maybe clone it a few times with the black cat yes or even take one of my local ones there or something because yeah i need to do something like that so i can get around a bit quicker right -o. so now when you deliver this latte it's just down here there's quite a few nice chests around here one gave me a cursed idol very interesting i don't know what happens if you give that to a merchant there we are. Brilliant. Maybe they might get cursed items. Who knows? I'm going to have to look into these idols a bit more. Lovely, lovely cutscene of water splashing down some rocks. They call it a waterfall, hence the prayer falls. There we go. Done. We've got a shed load more XP, a load of gold. We're doing good. We're doing swimmingly great, grand, fantastic and awesome. Right, so we've got one more escort quest left to do but i've spied a chest over here by this rock which i'm gonna open hopefully find something magical and super and awesome here we go what have we got we got ourselves a monk's thing well, whatever that was right it probably is magical and awesome but i don't know Awesome. Let's fire up my fairy stone and let's jump on over to... Where was that last guy? He was in Grand Soren. So we've got to pick up the last guy in Grand Soren. And then from there, we've got to head on back over to the bandits camp that I put the other portal stone at the top of in my previous episode and said I didn't really want to do this quest because it's pretty dangerous. I've come across a cockatrice out there in the wilds before by the beach that he wants to go to. And that cockatrice can turn you into stone. And at the moment, I can't buy any provisions to prevent me from turning into stone. Being petrified, it's called, people. Yep, so here we go. We're just going to pick this up anyhow. And we're going to head on over there. And we're going to try our best and hopefully not come across the cockatrice. So, yeah, there's the actual portal stone in the bottom corner of the map. And it's where I got the grimoire from. So, yes, watch the grimoire episode if you don't know how to get to this fort on foot. Because it is a bit of a trek. And it's a bit nasty as well. I got killed like twice i think in that episode right so let's head on down now i don't want to spark the bandits interest so i'm staying to the sidelines of the castle you don't have to worry too much about jumping down if you can make it the npcs can make it including the person that you're with but just make sure you can always see them on that little mini map in the bottom left corner right so there are a couple of goblins to take out here people i've sped up the footage because yes you've probably all taken out goblins before the cockatrice was out in the field but he wasn't there why i've got this npc with me it probably despawns him and knows that you're on a mission and you're protecting an npc there is two coves so one of the coves when you go through the cave it's got like this elliptical type sort of cave entrance and over to the right is this nice little cave that's got a lovely set of chests in there anyway let's kill all these goblins and i'll show you the first alcove so it's got that little walkway bridge across the top of it but if you go around and climb down and go through you've got this elliptical type entrance which is like a teardrop if you go through that one and take a right there's this nice little cavern and uh yeah 
it looks like a smuggler's, smuggler's cove. Smuggler's cove. In here, I'm going to call it smuggler's cove. I have no idea what it is. But we're going to go in there anyway. It's a place of interest. And he's got some awesome armors in here. And I got, like, I think a mallet in here or something. But anyway, let's open it up. I'll show you what I got. So I got that, Adventurer's Cape. And then I got something in this one as well. It wasn't these ones that I got the mallet in. It's on the next cove where I get the mallet, I think. Right, I say mallet. It's like a giant mace type thing. You know, the ones with the spiky balls at the top. Can't remember what they're called. But anyway, we're going to be heading over there to this round circle. I'm going to put a little checker on it. I thought this was where I needed to be. It's not where I needed to be. So I've got to circle back. Go all the way back round. Don't worry. I'm going to cut it in a second. And we'll, we'll magically be a little bit closer. And I'll speed up the footage. But anyhow, there's not too many landmarks to actually pinpoint. But when you get to the cove, you're going to know it. Because if you look down from the mountain top, you're going to see that we're right next to it on the map. Plus there's that little sort of kayaky thing there. So we're right near it now and again i want to explore this area i have got a portal crystal fairly close on top of the bandit camp but this area looks immensely big there's all buffaloes roaming around and all sorts of shite here hopefully we can encounter some more monsters around here but from my first playthroughs i was never really sent many missions over to this area of the map so i guess we're just going to have to do an exploring mission at some stage before we actually close down all the main quest line would probably be the best time to do it and then maybe come back here after we've done the main quest line when the game goes into almost end gamey type content and see how it's changed it at all Righto, so there we go. We have reached our destination, and that's the last of the escorting quests. I have done all the bland quests now, people, apart from hunting things in the wilds, which I guess if we're doing some adventuring episodes, we can do those on our live streams and just hunt down stuff like kill some rabbits, kill some crows, kill some seabirds, all those sort of missions we can do together. There's the chest here. There's three chests here. And two of them contain awesome stuff. So that's got a nice little hood in it. That's where I got my Macy type thing. And in here, I got myself some brew. So there is a, a Hattie type thing and a Macy type thing. Nice. There we are, people. That's the end of this episode. So yes, you've caught a thief and you've done some escorting. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's what I've done. If you don't know what you're doing. Until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.